we're gonna take our spaghetti sauce and you're just gonna do one spoonful on each hot dog. On each hot dog, one spoonful. Now you can use, you can add more if you'd like, a little more coverage. You're just gonna spread it out on it, get it back in the jar, spread it out on it, get it back in the jar. We're gonna take, we're gonna take mozzarella cheese, easiest way to access it. I'm just gonna do on each one. And it's okay if it like gets kind of all over the place. The cheese is kind of the best part. Yeah. Okay. So a whole bag of cheese. Really spread. Take your pepperonis. You're gonna lay them nicely. About three per hot dog. And this is just like my favorite meal to make when I'm in a rush. I've got people coming over, I've got hot dogs, I got pepperoni, I got cheese. This is what I'm making. Don't like the way those look. Do these. And a lot of you are gonna say, that bacon is not gonna be perfectly cooked. Well, yes it will, and I'll show it to you. Perfect, that's all you need. I'm gonna put this right in the oven. Okay, so pizza, hot dogs, they look so good. You can see the bacon in there. That looks yummy. Yummy bacon. Bacon hot dogs with pizza. Yummy. It's all out of the oven. And that's our bacon right there. Look at how good this looks. I'm gonna cut into it. Cooked, remember we have individual hot dogs, so I'm just gonna cut along the individual hot dog line. Now, I think this is the perfect amount of cheese cooked. Some people want their cheese darker, some are lighter, but this, this is me. Okay, so again, I'm just cutting along the hot dog line, so it's, it shouldn't be that hard because it's just bread in there. Make sure you get the edge. Great, edge, great. So I'm gonna take one of these hot dogs. I'm feeling, that one's pretty pretty. All right, grab that one. Oh, my stars in heaven, wow, that's so really pretty. That's really pretty. Okay, and let's see if this bacon is cooked. Okay, that bacon's cooked. Now it's not crispy, it's not crispy but it is cooked and we're just really looking for flavor. Wow, that looks really yummy. Let's see another one. Let's do an outside edge. Oh, cheesy, okay, yep, we're getting a good look at this bacon. So again, it's not crispy, but is it safe to eat? Yes, I think, I'm pretty sure. What color does pork have to be? I think you can eat that. Because obviously it's not crispy, but I'm pretty sure you can still eat that. Because prosciutto is pink and you can eat that. So, yeah. And if you don't like this, don't put the bacon on. Just do like the pepperoni and the cheese and you have a pizza hot dog. You can leave the bacon off. You can even pre-cook the bacon. You could use pre-cooked bacon. You could just add bacon bits on the top. Really, what's your own discretion? So, yeah, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure this is cooked for myself. I don't know if I can recommend anybody else to eat it this way. Um... But yeah, it looks great. This is just a great meal. So you got eight hot dogs. So if you have four to eight people, sometimes people eat two hot dogs, you have a whole meal ready for you right now. How fun! I love this. And at the end, if you really want, because you can do whatever you want because they're yours, you can do mustard. I don't know if this would be good. I've never done it, but I know some people like it. You could add extra ketchup. Yeah, really just whatever you whatever you want, whatever tickles your fancy for these.